now that I'm up from New Year's Eve, um, let's finish the last review that I had ready for 2017. Happy 2018, I guess. Hey there, Net Best Buddies, and welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Ray, and today we're going to be looking at the new Netflix original film, Bright. This movie stars Will Smith, Joel Edgerton, and is directed by David Ayer, who you may know from the Academy Award-winning Suicide Squad. It's also written by Max Landis, who you might know from Chronicle. He wrote that. Also, Superman American Alien. Fantastic comic book. I really like Max Landis' style of writing. My question for you guys this video, and I want you to leave a comment down here in the comments section. What's your favorite Will Smith movie, or your favorite Joel Edgerton movie? For Will Smith, for me, that's a little tougher, but I definitely really like iRobot. That's a really good movie. As for Joel Edgerton, I really like the movie called The Gift. I don't know if a lot of people saw that, but that movie is messed up and crazy. So go watch that also. Maybe I'll do a review at some point on that. So before we jump into the summary, make sure you go down and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the content that I put out. Make sure you like the video, and share it with a friend who also likes to talk about movies. In a version of our world where humans have lived with magical creatures for thousands of years, Officer Ward, played by Will Smith, and his rookie orc partner Jacoby, played by Joel Edgerton, go on a routine night patrol and discover a magical wand, which in this world are essentially like weapons of mass destruction. The pair then spend the night evading crooked cops, orc and human gangs, and a group of elf extremists trying to use the wand to return their Dark Lord back to the Earth. So the acting is really good, especially from Will Smith and Joel Edgerton. They have great chemistry together, which is essential for this buddy cop kind of movie. Um, the supporting cast is all really good as well. There's really not an issue with them either. The only real acting problem, and I think it was just the way that they're trying to portray the elves in the movie, would be those extremist elves that I've mentioned. They come off a little wooden. But again, that could just be the way that they're trying to play elves in this movie. The makeup, especially for the orcs, is really good. I really like that. Visually, on the whole, the movie is pretty solid. There's just a few hiccups here and there. I do really like how Max Landis writes the story for this movie. And I also really like David Ayer's directing style. Just honestly, don't make David Ayer direct a movie and write a movie. But only give him six weeks to write that movie. Looking at you. The only real issue that I have with the story is it just feels like Will Smith and Joel Edgerton are the only straight cops on the force. Like, literally everyone else seems, like, crooked and just out to get Jacoby. The world building in the movie is actually pretty good. They do a great job of establishing the hierarchy of the species with the elves being, like, the super rich and the orcs being the kind of lower poor class and then humans kind of being sprawled out in all the different levels. The only real issue that I have with that world building is that they kind of throw out some terminology and concepts that they don't really dive into all that much. The last thing that I want to point out for the movie, there's a lot of great action and gunfights that go on. And it's really fun to watch. Bright is a very fun cop film based in a fantasy world that while not the best film of the year, I definitely enjoyed my time with it and I'm glad that I watched it. It's definitely worth a watch. Go, go watch it. Meow. If you have Netflix. Bright gets a 7 out of 10. So Bright by no stretch of the imagination is a masterpiece. But it is still a very fun and enjoyable buddy cop movie set in a fantasy world. And I don't understand why people are hating on it so much. Like, I understand David Ayer directed Suicide Squad and that was like a steaming mess. But this is a very solid movie. And apparently they already greenlit a sequel. And I'm excited to see that, to see where they go with these characters in this world that they built. So those are my thoughts on Bright. Uh, again, definitely a fun time. Just give it a shot. It's on Netflix. It's essentially free. But, I mean, you have to pay for Netflix. But, let's be honest, how many of us really pay for Netflix? So, like I said earlier in the video, definitely go down, share the video, like it, subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a comment down here, again, with your favorite Will Smith or Joel Edgerton movie. Or, answer both. It's up to you. I don't give extra credit points, but, I mean, if I did, you'd probably get a gold star if you answered both. As always, I greatly appreciate all the views that you guys give me. Uh, all the constructive feedback. And... Thanks again for watching, everybody. See ya.